Dear, Dear BGV, do you have a vocal coach? I guess the bigger question is, do you need a vocal coach? Do you think you need a vocal coach? <laughs> I think one of the biggest myths about those who sing background mm -hmm. is, I'm just singing in the background, but I ain't singing lead. Right. That's for the lead. Right. My, I'm doing my oops and my dupes, you know what I'm saying? And that's all what I got. What is it? Oops and dupes? Oop, oop, doop, doop, no, you know? No, <laughs> I think the unfortunate truth is that you don't fully value who you are and what you bring to the musical environment that you find yourself in. Or are aware. So many of us singers want to be a part of groups because like, it's camaraderie, it's community, you love singing with people. Well, I'm just in a choir, I'm a singing background, I can hide. So mm -hmm. I don't need to get vocal coach because I'm not going to be in the front, mm -hmm. chilling in the back. <laughs> I'm cool. I'm not trying to pursue it as a career or nothing. Right. Like, so I ain't got to do all of that training. Right. Every group is as strong as its weakest link. Mm. Could you imagine actually getting vocal coached as a supporting vocalist, intentional about what you brought to the table? It would elevate the entire sound of any group that you're a part of.